Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, I will cover how to use the QFile Dialog widget in PyQD6. Right, so the QFile Dialog widget has four functions to select a file, files, or a folder, or to provide a safe file name. And I'll go to the functions uh, one by one individually in different examples. So right here in my Python script, I already uh, wrote the application. And I'll go to each function one by one so we can uh, quickly go to this lesson. All right, so let me launch the application first. So from this application, I have a drop down, a push button, and a text box that I'm going to return each function's response inside uh, this area. Now here I'm importing the usual libraries. So I'm importing the system module, OS module, and from PyQt6.qt widgets module. I'm importing uh, all these widgets, such as uh, Q push button, text edit, Q combo box, and to use the Q file dialog widget, we need to use the Q file dialog class. And these two uh, widgets are the layout managers. Now inside my constructor, so this is going to set the uh, window size, create the layout manager, and self the options is going to create the drop down items. And here I'm creating the combo box push button, and the text box field. Now here I create a function called launch dialog. So basically based on, here let me launch the application back. So basically based on the dropdown item that I choose. So we know each dropdown item is tied to an index. So the first item is going to be index 0, 1, 2, and 3. And based on the item position, that I choose, I'm going to fire the function based on the index value. Now in terms of the functions, the Q file dialog widget has four uh, basic functions. The first one is going to be get open file name. The second one is going to be get open file names. So this one is going to be select multiple files. And the third one is going to be get existing directory. So this function allows you to select a folder and the fourth one is going to be get save file name. And this function allows you to manually set the uh, file path. Now let's look at how we can use uh, each function individually. Now we'll start with the get open file name function. All right, so from this function we have, let's see, five parameters. The first parameter is going to be the uh, parent widget. In this case, it's going to be self. Next is going to be the dialog uh, window title. And let me launch the application. All right, so I'm going to launch the uh, gets open file name function. All right, so caption is going to be the dialog name, which is going to be this title right here. And directory is going to be the default path when you open the uh, file dialog. And filter is going to be this uh, file slash and drop down. Now we can create different uh, filter groups by providing the group name first or file type name first, followed by the extension list. And it's done here for each file extension, we are going to uh, separate each file type using a space. Now if we want to create another group, we'll insert two semicolons, followed by the file type name, followed by the file extension list, and so on. And for this demonstration, I have three different uh, file types, data file, Excel file, and image file. Now let me put this back. And the initial filter parameter is going to uh, set the default filter type. So in this case, it's going to be Excel file. Now here, let me go ahead and uh, select one of the uh, Excel file and open. Now if we look at uh, this object right here, it's going to return a tuple object. Inside the uh, tuple object, the first item is going to be the file path, and the second item is going to be the file type. And that's how you use the get open file name function. Now for the get open file names function, so this function works very similar to get open file name, except that here we can select multiple files. Now, instead of uh, returning a single item from the uh, first element in this uh, tuple object, 
one hour getting a list, then you can write loop to uh, iterate each file path individually. Now for the get existing directory function, this function allows you to select a folder. Now here I'm going to select my uh, default folder. And from the get existing directory function, the function will only return a single string value that which is going to be the folder path. And the last function is going to be this uh, get save file name. Now here, instead of uh, setting a file, we are going to mainly provide the uh, file name. So let's call this uh, ABC Excel SX. If I click on save, and again, uh, this function will return a tuple, and the first element is going to be the file path, and the second element is going to be the file type. Now I want to go back to the get existing directory function real quick. Right, so unlike the other functions, for the get existing directory function, we only need to provide the caption and the caption parameters is optional. So basically you can simply insert the function and provide the parent ledger and consider the function directly. All right, so uh, this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this lesson. And you can find the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.